This is the second video about spins. To see the first video, which covers spins in more detail, click on Upright Spins on the right. Now obviously, an inverted spin is the same as an upright spin, but the aircraft is upside down. Inverted spins are actually easier to recover from than upright spins, but being inverted can affect the pilot's awareness of the spin's rotation, which means they won't recover from the spin. I'll show how to enter an inverted spin in two ways. The first way is when you enter a spin from an inverted position, and the second is entering a crossover spin, often due to a bad upright spin recovery. We use the same procedure to recover from the inverted spin as we do from the upright spin. The only difference is that we need to pull the stick towards us instead of away from us to recover fully. So let's go in game to check out inverted spins. We're going to be doing some inverted spins. So we raise the nose, roll ourselves inverted and apply forward stick pressure to keep the nose up. Keep applying more forward stick to keep ourselves at this attitude. And then as we're about to stall, we're going to kick full left rudder and we'll enter a left hand inverted spin. Inverted spins are very disorientating, so by looking over the nose, we can recognise what spin direction we're actually taking. As you can see, the nose is moving from right to left across the ground, and so that means we're spinning to the left. If we were to look over the wing or above us, we're not going to really be able to tell that as easily. So we apply right rudder, get backward stick, and then we can apply power and level out. So we'll have a look at this inverted spin from external view. As said, the inverted spin is very disorientating and you can look over the nose to recognise the rotation. But if you're really stuck on which way is really opposite rudder, just look at the turn and bank indicator and that will tell you what direction the rotation is in. If the needle is banked to the right, that means you're in a right hand spin. And if it's to the left, it's a left hand spin. And that'll work regardless of whether you're in an upright or an inverted spin. So once you recognise the direction of rotation, apply opposite rudder and then pull the stick back until you've recovered from the spin. You can also utilise upwards elevator trim to help you in a recovery. Now we'll throw the 109 in a right hand inverted spin as an example of using ailerons as part of the spin recovery. To set up for the inverted spin, we reduce throttle and roll inverted and maintain the nose up attitude. Just about to stall, so we apply full right rudder to the right hand inverted spin. So since we're in the right hand spin, we're going to be needing left hand rudder to recover. So now the spin's developed, you can use the left rudder to try and stop the rotation and pull back on the stick. But since we haven't recovered, we need to apply left stick as well as left rudder in order to get the recovery going. As you can see, our attitude is beginning to steepen. We end up vertical, we can center the controls, power and level out. In spin recoveries, ailerons are used differently depending on if you're inverted or upright. If you're in the inverted spin, then you apply aileron in the same direction as the rudder direction you're using for recovery. But if you're in the upright spin, then you use aileron in the opposite direction to the rudder you're using for recovery. I'm in the right hand inverted spin. This means I need left rudder for recovery, and because it's inverted, I also need left aileron. So I apply both of those left aileron and left rudder while maintaining the backward stick pressure to help me break out of the spin. You can see the spin is starting to recover, the aircraft attitude is getting more vertical. Now we've recovered and we can pull out of the dive. Now we're going to look at a type of inverted spin called the crossover spin. This is what occurs when you're in an upright spin and then you apply too much forward pressure on recovery and that will end up flipping you upside down to the inverted position. So now we're stalling, applying full right rudder, turn to a right hand upright spin, let it stabilise. Now we're going to initiate a recovery but we're going to be very aggressive with the forward stick. So we kick left rudder to stop the rotation but then we throw the stick forward. And as you can see we've crossed over from an upright spin to an inverted spin. So looking over the nose we see that the rotation is to the left. So we have to apply right rudder, pull back on the stick and then we're out of the inverted spin. So again, the crossover spin occurs when you are too aggressive with your forward stick in the recovery. The crossing over from upright to inverted can happen very rapidly and leave you disorientated. 
so it's critical that you recognise the rotation by looking over the nose before attempting a recovery or you can make the inverted spin worse. And as always, if you're completely stuck on the direction, look at your turn and bank indicator and that will tell you the direction of your spin. So the rotation direction is recognised, you apply opposite rudder, stick back and then you can recover from the dive. There's a video covering inverted spins.